What's going on everyone? Today we're going to be watching and reacting to Tremors from 1990. This is a Patreon request from Mike. So thank you very much for this request. I've heard of this film. I've definitely heard of the name before, but I don't know what it's about. I think it's a monster movie, but I could be mistaken. And I know Kevin Bacon's in it. That's all I know. Pretty much all I know. Let's jump right into it. If you want to see a full look reaction, that'll be my Patreon link that will be in the description down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Let's watch. Good morning, Mr. Bassett. This is your wake-up call. Please move your ass. I don't I don't think I've seen Kevin Bacon in a movie this, you know, this old. It's not that old of a movie, but you know. I don't think I've seen him in anything before this. Actually, no, I definitely, uh, I don't know. Maybe I have, and I just forgot. <laughs> yeah, they, they ain't dealing with the stampede right now. Directed by Ron Underwood. I don't think I've ever seen any of his movies before. It's garbage day. Oh, man. Already? Hey, what's Nestor paying us? 50 bucks. And that's 47 bucks more than we got. Let's do their linoleum today and do the garbage tomorrow. We don't dig today. We don't get paid today. Now, damn it, Valentine. You never plan ahead. Valentine's his name? Who the hell's that? That's not what's his name, the grad student. Nah, I graduated. Must be the new one. That's supposed to be a girl. You will have. Long blonde hair, <laughs> world-class breasts. <laughs> His fucking smile just disappearing. He's gonna end up falling in love with her by the end of this movie, 100%. And you two must be Val and Earl. I've heard all about you. We deny everything. Valentine's actually a pretty badass name, I gotta say. You know, you do Val for short. Well, I'm supposed to monitor these seismographs. Well, you know, they measure vibrations. Vibrations in the ground. Well, I've been getting some really strange readings. Well, we'll ask around, uh, you know, see if anyone's heard anything. There sure might be a slick way to get snore. Why? Damn it, Valentine. You won't go for any gal unless she fits that stupid list of yours from top to bottom. <laughs> I mean, like that, that, uh, Bobby Lynn Dexter. Tammy Lynn Baxter. <laughs> Interesting characters. I have no idea what this monster is gonna be though. I, I just I just know I'm pretty sure it's a monster movie like that's that's what I've heard I just I don't really know what that entails. It's called tremors and that usually has to do with earthquakes And they were just talking about earthquakes. So I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe it's not a monster movie and I was misinformed I don't know <laughs> the Hell what the hell's moving towards her? Maybe the monster's not underground. What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? Oh shit, it is! Oh shit. Oh, are you gonna stand there and tell me in broad daylight that I'm the reason we're still in perfection? You know how close I am to leaving this place right now? I'll call that little bluff. How close? <laughs> oh, yeah. That's just great. The fucking kids are laughing. <laughs> Don't forget the TV. Hey, bring that vacuum cleaner for it, man. I like this vacuum cleaner. Hell, you never use it. Hell, it's good for parts. Hey, Mindy, what's the count? 640. Damn. <laughs> I, don't, I have this big order to fill, and I have to build my new pottery kiln. Come on, it'll be at least a month's work. I'll throw in lunches and beer. <laughs> I can't believe we said no to free beer. They said no? <laughs> Hey, look at that guy. Oh, it's one job I'd never do. Working around electricity. Hey! Yeah, I've always said that would be a very scary job. All it takes is one just wrong thing to touch and then you, you're just dead. I'm sure there's enough safety precautions put in place in those jobs to just try to avoid something like that, but still, it's just too dangerous. Man, oh man, you must have been drunk this time. Edgar, get your butt down from there! Oh, shit. So the guy just climbed it? It's not even a worker? Can't leave him up there. How, how is he going to do this? <laughs> One of these days, you're going to have to get your ass on a wagon. What if he's dead? For some reason, I feel like he's dead. Jesus. Ooh. How did he die? Thirst. That takes a couple of days, doesn't it? Maybe even three or four. You mean he sat up there three or four days? He sat up there and just died of thirst? Yeah, I don't know if I believe that. I guess it's possible. Because he didn't have any visible wounds on him, so uh, maybe. Oh, shit. Yeah, something's under the ground. That's got to be what's going on here. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn. Oh, my God. All the sheep. 
Yeah, it's it's some kind of monster under the ground. Hey, Fred! No, I think I think Fred got eaten. Eaten, bro. I don't think he's there no more. He's either in pieces or he was eaten as as well. I don't know. I don't know. Oh shit! What the hell's going on? So was that just his head? Like, was the rest of him just gone? Oh god, it's gonna come out of the ground, isn't it? Oh shit! He went into it. <laughs> oh shit. Ooh, that'd fuck you up, dragging across the concrete like that. And the rocks. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. Wow. Are you serious? Old Fred's dead? Do something like that. Said, Come on, you're bullshitting me right I now. I mean, that's What happened to Fred? No worse than Edgar. What happened to Edgar? You won't believe it. Somebody killed old Fred. Hey. What do we do? What's going on? Now look, you gotta get to Bixby, and you gotta get the police up here. I don't think the police are gonna be able to do shit. But then again, they have no idea what's going on, so... We decided to leave this place just one damn day too late, you know? Look out! Well, shit. Is there some higher force at work here? <laughs> I mean, I guess you could say that. Ooh. Looks like brains. Oh, that is definitely brains. Hey, it's Val and Earl. Oh my god. What the fuck? What is that? Is that part of the monster? Relax. I guess it's part of the monster. Or it is it is the monster maybe? No, the monster has got to be really big, right? The way it was moving under the ground, it looked like it was huge. The way it was moving made it seem like it was some kind of worm. I'll give you boys five dollars for this. <laughs> what? Just one of these could need up Fred and his old flock of sheep. So you think there are more of them out there? Oh, maybe they are just that small, but I don't know. What if we don't finish the roof? Then we can look at the sky all the time. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna get eaten. <laughs> Whenever they show new characters that we haven't seen before, you can presume they're gonna get eaten. Maybe it's time we buy a new generator, huh? Oh god. He's out in the open. Oh shit! Maybe it's a geological thing of something like natural gas or or a geyser. They stink like that. Remember in Yellowstone? Oh shit! <laughs> oh damn! It's gotta be crunching his legs and now his stomach and oh his whole fucking body. That's what it sounds like it's doing. Holy shit! Jim! Yeah. Whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, so it is like a snake. That's what it looks like. Yeah, it looks like a fucking snake. Or a worm, maybe? I don't know, a like worm snake? Snakes and worms have similar looks, you know? Yeah, there's a bunch of them. Dude, I love it because it's all practical, you know? That's one of my favorite things about watching movies before the 21st century. Just, you know it's all practical effects, most likely, and there's some exceptions. But this is awesome. Oh, shit. Dude, <laughs> bringing the whole fucking car down. <laughs> there's Walter's saddle horses. That's it. You're welcome to them. Somebody could ride the Bixby. Whoever does it's gonna get eaten. <laughs> They'll be riding that horse and the fucking worms will come and swallow them up. Walter, they better be fast. I feel like a horse, horse's uh, hooves are like so interesting. I, I love watching those videos where people like clean them or I don't, I don't know how to shave them. I don't know what they're doing really, but it just looks so cool. I don't know, it's, <laughs> it's very interesting. Well, hope I don't need to use it. Ah! Ah! What the me! fuck's he doing? Oh, what? Oh, is he? Is he fucking around, bro? That is so stupid of you. Damn it, Melvin! He almost shot you, <laughs> just to shoot the damn thing. You came that close. For real? God damn. One of these days, somebody's gonna kick your ass. I thought it was real for a second, but <laughs> yeah, I guess not. You got me. It's a whole fucking car. <laughs> How are they gonna uncover this whole thing? I don't think they are gonna be able to. We don't even stop. Ride like hell. Yeah, they know something's up. 
They gotta know it's not a person doing this. Because, yeah, they saw that monster snake looking thing. The music sounds like something out of Indiana Jones. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, what about the horses? Oh, shit. Something tells me there's going to be a lot of them, so you're not going to be able to kill all of them. Oh, whoa, shit. <laughs> yeah, there's a big one, right? There has to be. I don't think it's just a bunch of small ones. Oh, yeah, I was right. <laughs> oh, the little ones come out of it. Oh, I love that. It's uh, so cool. The movie makes you think it's just going to be a bunch of small ones, right? But then they end up revealing that it's actually this giant. I knew it had to be big because the way they showed like those shots before, it looked like there was something big coming out. It did not look like something small. Look! Oh, shit. Stupid son bitch. <laughs> Knocked itself cold. Damn. He's dead. Really? Fuck you! <laughs> Did you notice anything weird a minute ago? I mean, it just happened. What's that? All right, together. One, two. Dude, I don't think this thing's dead. And if it is dead, there's gonna be another one for sure. The movie ain't over yet. This is probably the biggest zoological discovery of the century. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, check this out! I guess it is dead. Wow. That's why it moves so fast. This thing had sensors tripping all over the place. No. Hey, Rhonda, you ever heard of anything like this before? Oh, sure, Earl. Everybody knows about them. Does she realize there's got to be more of them? Because if they were moving all over the place, possibly at the same time, there's got to be more, right? The way I figure it, there are three more of these things. Yep. What? There you go. I've got seismographs all over this valley. Now, if you compare the different readings, here's one at two o'clock yesterday, but here's one three miles away at the exact same time. Now that's two. I like how they brought in this character. This is this is smart. She's obviously very useful. Bro, what? Did he just step in a hole and he thought? <laughs> Damn prairie dog, Burl. Oh, okay. Yeah. I guess it's a good way to track it, you know? You can kind of tell the general direction of, as to where it's in, just by the seismograph. Up on that rock. The rocks are smart, yeah. Where the hell's your truck? Well, it's right over there. Oh man, I don't think we can make that. I'd wait as long as you could. Oh, that must have been how the, the guy on top of the thing died. He must have been running away from it, and then he stayed up there too long. I guess, died of thirst, I don't know. Which, I mean, I, he must have been up there for days, right? Because, I mean, I'm not sure exactly how long it would take for you to die of thirst, but I'm assuming it would be a couple days. It senses seismic vibration. It can hear every move we make, especially on this rock. It's a perfect conductor. Well, I hate to be crude, but I gotta take care of some business. Me too. Same here. <laughs> oh, that's what he meant? <laughs> Thanks. No problem. Anytime. <laughs> yeah, that conversation between the two of them about her, about him saying he needs to lower his standards and stuff. I think that was foreshadowing. I think they're going to end up together by the end of the movie. But, you know, guess we'll see. Yep, he is definitely still out there. Yeah, well, honestly, well, why don't we just make a run for it? We outran him yesterday. Run for it? I don't know, man. What is she doing? Is she about to make a run for it? You guys said Oh, she's gonna pole vault? <laughs> oh, shit. We just stay where it can't get us. So they just gotta keep doing that? <laughs> That's kind of sick, actually. Family in the back. <laughs> Too much pole vaulting. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, that's a cool shot. This is a fun movie. Like... <laughs> This is, this is definitely like a comedy in a lot of ways. Oh shit. Oh shit. 
Oh shit! <laughs> Oh, that's so cool, man. Could somebody perhaps uh, help me? Yeah, look at the position she <laughs> Oh my god. These animals are huge. They come up from underneath the ground and they grab me. They sense the slightest vibration through the ground, even footsteps. So like we don't vibrate, right? <laughs> just just don't vibrate. I'm gonna go get Mandy. Oh, she's okay. I started playing down the street. <laughs> That doesn't mean she's okay. She does not want to be out there. So I think we should head west to the mountains. We'd be safe there and we could hike along them all the way to Bixie. Ah! Oh shit. Bro, this fucking, oh my God. He's gotta stop that shit. I want this kid to get eaten. <laughs> Straight up. He deserves to get eaten at this point. I don't care if he's a kid. <laughs> oh. I I think he just got I, I think he just got eaten. <laughs> wow. He's under the damn place. He'll probably break right through that. I mean, I don't know. He didn't break through the well, that was concrete. This is wood. He can probably break through it. The girl with the pogo stick. Shit. She's got to not do that, you know? <laughs> Get off the pogo stick. Oh, shit. Dude, they can't have this little girl get eaten. <laughs> it sucked that thing right down. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> She's wrapped up in that barbed wire. That shit's gotta hurt too. Oh shit. Dude, it's so. I don't know how they, they do these like practical monsters like this. It's gotta be so difficult to put together. I'm assuming it's the animatronic, right? <laughs> wow. That was really damn cool, man. Holy shit. Oh, not that thing. That thing's gonna do a lot of vibration. There you go. Oh, shit! Oh, no! Yeah, I don't- I don't think he's gonna make it. <laughs> Damn. I wonder what the motive of the monster is. Like, is it just purely like hungry looking for food? Is that what it's doing? Or is it territorial? Is it like, oh, you're my, you're my territory? Or is, I don't know. Come on, let's go! Through! Someone tells me it's just looking for food. It probably just likes to eat people. So that's what it's doing. I really love how this monster works. Oh, it is trying to get the food out of the can. So maybe, maybe it is. I don't know. Oh shit. You gotta jump, girl! Oh shit! But I like how it works because it's like it forces people to like almost play the, the floor's lava game, you know, where they have to jump on different surfaces to stay away from the ground. Like the ground is where you don't wanna be, you know? I really like that. You okay? Very interesting movie. Oh, so they're in Nevada? I assumed it was around there somewhere, somewhere in the southwest. Damn, that is a good pair of binoculars. You you could see that far. <laughs> hey Bert, something real weird's going on over there. They're up on top of the roof. Oh, it's gonna hear that. Hey, I think they're going for Bert. Big like a son of a bitch. Big monster underground. Now get out. Oh. 
Oh shit. Damn, they got a lot of guns here. Nice. The one before died pretty easily. It literally just ran into a concrete wall and died. So I feel like bullets should be able to kill it eventually. I don't know. <laughs> oh, nice. Nice double barrel shotgun. There you go. Rhonda said there was at least three more, so if they kill this now, they're still gonna have two more after this. Oh shit, yeah, there you go. So they're definitely killable with bullets then. Just rack up on guns and just start lighting them up. <laughs> Maybe get some bombs or something, grenades, I don't know. Yeah, I really like this. I The thing is, is like, it just, I don't think it would work because uh, movies like this to me really work when it's a practical effect monster because it, it looks so much more real, you know? I don't know. Nowadays, though, CGI, it depends on the movie. Some of it's really good looking. And if it's good enough to the point where it looks fine, then I'm on board with that. But I don't know, man. I, I love when they look like this, though. It's, it's just, I don't know. I feel more tangible, you know? I do love some monster movies with CGI monsters, though. The Mist is a good example of, of that because a lot of cool monsters in The Mist that are CGI and... Not the best CGI either, but it's a damn amazing movie, so I don't really care. I guess it really just depends. Well, the Mist CGI was fine for its time. I will say that. It's just, you know, when you compare it to stuff today, it's a little different. He's up to something! Well, it isn't our old pal Stumpy. What do you think it's trying to do now? Why do you keep asking me? Because <laughs> she's the smart one. <laughs> Is it going to try... Oh, it's going to try to knock the whole fucking building down. Damn. That is a rough foundation. <laughs> Oh shit. <laughs> Get off the ground. He's he's gonna die. No, Nestor, that's no good. Come on, you gotta get <laughs> Yeah, that's not good at all, bro. <laughs> no dude, you guys gotta do something. You gotta do something. I don't know, they can't do much up there. They need the guns, man. Wait a minute. The cat! Could we take the cat? What? It's lower in hell. Yeah, but it weighs better than 30 tons. There's no way they could lift 30 tons. I mean, but we can't all fit on the bulldozer. Oh. Uh, no, but we could uh, drag something, though. We could, we, could, we, we could pull a car behind it. I don't know. When he said the cat, I thought he meant a real cat. I'm like, what the fuck do you plan on doing with the cat? <laughs> that thing? I don't know. It's pretty far. They only respond to vibration, right? Well, couldn't we distract them somehow? That's what I was thinking. Like a, like a decoy. Hey, Melvin, you want to make a buck? Uh, <laughs> eat it. How about the tractor? Start him up. Okay, that's good. What do you think? Oh, shoot. <laughs> I got to hurry up. Just hold on, Nancy. I'm making the run for the cat. Like hell you are. Get real, Earl. I'm faster than you. Yeah, I'm best at driving the cat. Not while I'm around. Look. Damn it, now listen to me. I'm older and I'm wiser. Yeah, well, you're half right. <laughs> Damn. I lost. Guess I'll have to do it. Uh, I won. <laughs> I pick who does it. He's just gonna hold onto the side of the building like that? Good luck, shithead. Don't worry about me, jerk off. You gotta hurry up, man. Hurry the fuck up. Oh, shit, really? <laughs> I mean, he is probably faster. Damn. I mean, it was going to catch up anyways. Oh, that's a cool shot. <laughs> Bell, stop! They're coming! Don't move! Don't move at all? Dude, it's like a quiet place. <laughs> Can't find him. Yeah, so if you're not making any vibrations, you should be fine. We, we, we gotta make some noise. A lot of noise! You sorry sons of bitches! Hey, come and get my ass! Don't kick, don't kick, don't kick. Oh shit, what is she doing? 
Oh, the water. Yeah, that'll make enough vibrations. Nice. Oh, that's what he's going to attach to it. Nice. Oh, shit. Nice. Are they making bombs? <laughs> Some kind of explosives. Yeah. Nice. God damn. They're getting smarter by the minute. That's fine. We got some new things to teach them. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, I thought they'd be able to take it down. They probably are gonna be able to. Ain't no way this they're just gonna get away in this, you know, without any struggles at all. Hey, give me a gun, I'll take one. I wouldn't give you a gun if it was World War Three. <laughs> That was the second comment they made about World War III in this in this movie. Music like this, I feel like you don't hear like this style of music. You don't really hear it in movies. Oh my god, you don't really hear it in movies anymore. I feel like this is like a '80s '90s type of music for film. They dug a trap. Yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> Hungry? Eat this! Everybody go! You're two different dust trails! Sure made him think twice, though. What the hell's in those things, Bert? Two household chemicals in the proper proportion. Okay. Do me more of those bombs? We got you covered, Rhonda. What if we throw one that way, the way that we want to go? Then when it explodes, I mean, if it drives them away, we run like goddamn bastards. What if they don't get scared? What if they don't run? I don't think it does get them. It hurts them. <laughs> Oh, maybe. I say do it. You can't outrun him, no way! Yo, Melvin! This will make him think twice. Uh, <laughs> Look at his face, he's just happy to hold a gun. Oh, he doesn't even have bullets? <laughs> you probably should have told him that, that could have got him killed. Oh, shit. You asshole, there's no bullets for this gun! Got you moving, didn't they? <laughs> They'll just wait out there till we're dead. That's exactly what they do. You gotta think of something, though. You just, you had a bunch of plans before. If it comes to starvation, I know what I'm doing. Take one of these, walk right out there with the fuse lit, and let them take me down. Now, that's not a bad idea. Hmm. Oh, nice, nice. Nice! That has to have killed it, right? Oh, <laughs> looks like fucking... Looks like the inside of a pumpkin. There's one more, right? Is this gonna be that easy to kill these things? Oh, lunchtime, slime head. Oh, shit! Oh, it sent him flying back. Oh my God, he's Get back. Get back. Run. Next to the other bombs, too. Wow. Just destroyed all their all their explosives. I mean, at least there's only one. Okay, let's make some noise. Try to distract him. Come on, everybody. Hey! Shoot the gun. That'll make some noise. I guess that one got quite smart. It knew not to swallow the explosive. This was not falling for it. Yeah, they're really getting smarter as the movie goes on, which is kind of interesting. This bastard ain't smarter than us. For Christ's sake, Val. I'm gonna go for it. Oh, shit. He's gonna run and try to, uh, try to lead it out. Yeah. He's gonna try to throw the bomb inside of it, maybe, right before it tries to eat him. Where the hell is it? Oh, she has it? I've done it! Oh boy. What the fuck? If it doesn't eat you, it's gonna throw you off the edge of the cliff. No, that was his plan. I think. Bro, what are you doing? Yeah. 
Oh, he wanted it to do that. <laughs> nice. Wasn't a bad plan. They probably didn't know there was a cliff there, so, you know, there's that. It just suddenly hit me, you know, stampede. What if there's more out there and they just don't know about it? Because, I mean, only four being in existence, I feel like, is kind of unlikely. Like, you'd think they would have laid eggs or something. Maybe there's a sequel. I don't know. This is definitely the type of movie to have a sequel. <laughs> I mean, we could make some real money on this thing. We could get in People magazine. Smile. Hey. <laughs> Bert, loan me his camera. Oh, he's taking the. <laughs> There's gonna be major research, and I'm gonna be in on it. No, the first thing to do is take some pictures of that one we dug up. Pictures. Seem like a good idea. Thanks for everything, you know, saving my life and stuff. You're welcome. If she helped too, you know. I know, I know. I'm working up to it. <laughs> what am I doing? This is a really interesting character. <laughs> I don't know, this is, I, I have seen Kevin Bacon, I don't know how many movies. Let me let me think. Maybe like a couple. X-Men First Class, yeah, Friday the 13th, yeah. Oh, I forgot about Friday the 13th. I always forget he was in that. I always forget. Mystic River as well. That's one of the better movies I've seen him in. I really love Mystic River. Not a lot. There was a new They Slash Them movie that came out like two years ago that was pretty terrible, but he was in that. Oh, Hollow Man. I forgot about Hollow Man. I did see that. That was pretty good. I don't think a lot of people liked it, though, but I liked it. Yeah, I don't know. A lot, a lot of movies he's been in, to be honest. He's been in... Quite a decent amount of movies. Holy shit. <laughs> Actor in 110 films. That is crazy. That is a lot of movies. Um, but yeah, really enjoyed that movie. It was a really fun monster film. It had a good a bit of comedy to it as well. Practical effects were amazing. The characters were fun to watch. Uh, you know, the different plans they kept coming up with were really interesting, really unique. The environment was cool. I think the coolest part about it is just how this monster works because you want to kind of have high ground. So you're constantly like moving from building to building. And I'm glad they ended up killing all of them in the end and they didn't just escape and that was it. I, I like that they actually had closure in killing all of the, the worm monsters. I don't know what you'd call them, but really cool stuff. Gotta say. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for this request. I really enjoyed it, like I said. And if you want to see full cut reaction, that'll be my Patreon link that will be in the description down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Peace out, everyone.